this will be my third attempt on Everest in 2013. Uh, my first attempt was in 2010, and I felt like I was gonna lose a lot of muscle mass on that climb. So prior to arriving to Everest, I put on 25 pounds of muscle and really bulked up. Well, it turned out that I wasn't gonna lose that much muscle mass, and putting on 25 pounds of muscle just burned up that much more oxygen which is rare at altitude and decreased my VO2 max. So that was a mistake. Second go, I lost the 25 pounds and it worked really well. I felt my VO2 max was much higher. I was faster, I felt really fit, I felt good at altitude, but I screwed up my nutrition and I actually got sick in between camp three and camp four. So this year, I've changed my diet. I've gone vegetarian. I think helps at altitude. I'm utilizing a liquid diet. I'm switching from eating a lot of solid food like I did last year to going with like a cycling or ultra running approach um, where I actually put my calories into my water and drink it. I've been weight training since I was 15 years old. The weight training is really high rep, 16 to 20 reps with light weight, and that just helps me, you know, keep my core strength and not bulk up. I'm doing a, a series of seven exercises, and I'll go from like bicycles for my core to dumbbell press, one arm rows, and then I'll switch to incline press. I'll do a bunch of shoulder exercises, front raises, side raises, and then presses. That's kind of the, the base circuit. One of the great things about living in Seattle is there's world-class running right outside the city. Trail running is a fantastic cross-training device and ultra running specifically is a very important aspect for an alpinist and for speed ascents because you can go on a really long run with an amazing amount of vertical gain and loss that I think is directly applicable to mountain speed climbing. Stair intervals came about uh, from an interaction I had with Steve Swenson in Patagonia. He's done a lot of high altitude climbing and he summited K2 and Everest without oxygen. He began to tell me how important stair intervals were to his altitude training and how they were an integral part of him operating well at the higher altitudes above 8,000 meters. And I began to train at the Howe Street stairs. They're the largest stair set in Seattle with 388 stairs. And I can pretty much run from the bottom to the top in between 235 and 250. And I'm trying to do 15 sets in that time bracket. The stair intervals allow me to increase the amount of blood that I can carry in my veins. And that's gonna help me on Everest when I'm working hard, really hard at those high altitudes and my heart's just pounding and I'm trying to get the oxygen to my extremities, to my brain. Um, that's where it's gonna specifically come into play.